screen. So our next Java program is related to we have to take the input from user and we have to check that that integer is odd or even. So we have to return that and we have to print that it is even or odd. And also uh, we have to create the separate method that will check the each integer odd or even that also we have to create in this question. So we have given a question like that create a Java program that take a input from user to check the integer is odd or even. So that is the question we have given and input is given is in integer format that is in uh, equal to 42. So we have given an equal integer as 42 and we have to check that it's uh, uh, odd or even and we have to return the output as uh, in string that is even or odd. So that is the thing. So let's start directly to uh, programming. So first of all, I will create the main class that has a main method. So we have to create a main class and that has also the main method. So that will uh, run this application. So I also going to add that also. We can also add this method after that. So like we have to just uh, type main and it will uh, create the main method. So we have to just click on that. It will create the main method. So we have to first take the input from user. So I will create the scanner class scanner and I will going to import that. That is present in the Java dot UT. PSC equal to new scanner. And we have to pass the system dot in because we are going to take the input from user. So that is the uh, input stream. So that is why we have to use system dot in and also close the uh, after creating the object of scanner. We have to uh, take the input from user. So that will be stored in the uh, integer type. So that is int. So we have to give number equal to SP. That is the class uh, object name. Uh, the method that is present in the scanner class that is next in it. So we have to take that and that will take the input from a user that is in integer form. So that will store in the num and uh, before that we have to give the instruction to the user that you have to enter the number and that is the thing and we have to uh, also create the separate method that will check the what you say this method is uh, 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 that is uh, integer is uh, even or odd. So I, I am going to create that. So that will go, method will, will be private because we don't want to take this method outside the class. So that is why. And I also am making the this method as static because I don't want to create the separate uh, object for this. So just for only one method. So that is why I am taking static and I am going to return the result. So I will return the result in string. And also I will give the method name as E1 or or so I will give that and it will take the input as integer. So that is integer int that is num and we have to just pass this and uh, we are going to create the configuration that is uh, implementation of this method. So first of all, I will pass that uh, that is uh, main to call the static method we have to just call the class name that is main dot and it is going to call the that method and we have to just pass the name but uh, if you see the here we are getting the uh, data type as integer and here it's a data type as int so in the java so this will happen because of the wrapper class wrapper class so that means the whenever we try to uh, use the primitive data that primitive data automatically convert into uh, integer class. And if you use the integer class, so we cannot convert that in int. So this is the uh, thing. So we can uh, transfer the int into integer, but you cannot uh, transfer the integer into int. So that is the thing. So we have to consider that also. So this is the thing. And the return type also for this is uh, string. So I will store that is also string. I will give as a result as a variable name and I will just print that. Uh, that is the result. 
the i will give the more information number is uh what you say oh, yes so just only i will give and uh, plus i will give as a result so it will not going to print that so after that we are going to have to implement the logic so i will take the number and i will give the if and else condition that is first if that means if num percentage 2 equal to 0 that means it will check that number uh, that is a percentage means remainder is equal to 0 that means it is going to uh, what we say uh, even because whenever we try to divide by 2 it is going to give the num uh, even number and if we it is not giving the zero that means it is odd so we have to just pass the e1 and uh, i'm going to close that and for a uh, else condition i will directly return the odd that is the thing and we have to uh, return the both as in the string format so that is the thing and i will just save the file and because we are use the scanner class just we have to close that also so that means it will not give the problem so we have closed the scanner class also so just we have to save that so and i will going to uh, run the application so first of all it is are going to ask the enter the number so first of all we will try to give the input that we have given it is 42 after that we have to just click the enter and number is so it is giving the number is e1 so i'm going to run the application again and i'm going to give the odd number that is what we say mm what we say 45 so it is going to give odd number so this is the thing uh, so we have completed all the information that is we are taking the input from user then we are creating the separate method that will check the number is even or odd and also we are printing the result so thank you we will see you in next video